Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to take you guys to the, the friendly skies of planet Earth where you're going to see from an airplane a strange, very fast white cylinder visible from the window of an aircraft at about 35,000 feet moving through the sky. And then you're also going to see multiple examples of the same phenomenon from the ground. Also in this video, I'm going to take you guys up to Greenland, and here's a, a photo that I wanted to share with you guys, sent in by Katie from Greenland, of these rare polar stratospheric clouds, the, the very colorful, almost rainbow-like looking clouds, these here visible from Greenland. I've also got some more photos to share with you that were sent in by Katie, also from Greenland, that I think you guys are, are really going to enjoy. But first over here at the homepage of the web, Website. Today's feature photo was sent in by Candace out of Nevada. Uh, some very cool looking clouds stacked up like pancakes. I think those are known as lenticular clouds. You'll also notice a void right here. I've taken down the, the Schumann resonance for the time being. There seems to be some sort of a unusual glitch with the Schumann. Um, as soon as that becomes available again, I'll uh, put that back up there. But for right now, I just took the, the Schumann tab off. So if you happen to notice the void right there, that's why. I simply took the tab down, at least for the time being. Coming over here to the Space Weather Prediction Center, looking at the GOES X-ray flux, you can see in the last few hours there's been yet another M flare. More than likely, that is Earth-directed. As you can see, the, the Earth-facing side of the sun is still loaded with active regions and sunspots. This one here being a giant sunspot that's produced a lot of M flares and has produced an X flare or two. It's starting to turn away from the Earth, and we have some more activity coming around the eastern limb of the sun, not quite as large as this one here, but lately the sun has been very active with M flares, and at times we've seen a, a few X flares. Right now, the planetary K index also over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center is fairly quiet. That's always subject to change when the Earth-facing side of the sun is, is that busy. Popping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Notice over here at Madison River, there's two very strong signatures. Those are earthquake signatures, the red vertical lines, about six hours apart. Not sure what's going on there. You would think if those were earthquakes, they would have been picked up over here at, at Purple Mountain and up here at the, the Holmes Hill seismograph, but that's not the case. They're isolated to the Madison River seismograph. And other than that, we're seeing a little bit of magma intrusion and some very small earthquakes over here in the, the northeastern quadrant. But the northwest quadrant of the supervolcano has been very busy here in the last few months. Coming over here, checking on the Lake Mead water database. So far, so good. We're looking at a, a string of positive readings over here at Lake Mead, which is causing the overall water content to go up, which is a good thing. Not the same situation at Lake Powell. They both sit on the Colorado River. Lake Powell has been steadily going down. Had one or two days of green, which represents a slight positive change, but the red are negative change, which means the water content at Lake Powell continues to go down and the water content at Lake Mead continues to go up. So hopefully that trend will continue at Lake Mead and maybe we'll see the, the same trend at Lake Powell. I want to share with you guys a video that was shared with me by Josh, not sure of the location, but he couldn't help but notice the, the stunning similarities of this cloud that he saw in the sky and how it looked like a shark, and I totally agree. This one here is simply just for fun. He happened to notice that, not sure of the location. If you guys send in a video, please include at least the state or the country that you guys are in so that we can kind of know where you saw some of these unique observations, like this one here, a cloud that looks like the profile of a shark. Thank you, Josh. Really appreciate that. I want to take you guys now up to the skies of planet Earth, and you're going to see multiple strange white cylinders. We're starting off in an airplane from Newark, New Jersey down to Tampa, Florida. This goes back to December 17th of 2022. Video footage shared by Reno. I want you to watch right over here where my cursor is at and I'm going to move my cursor out of the way so it doesn't interfere with what I'm trying to share with you guys. But you're going to see a white cylinder come through the field of view right there and move very quickly out of the field of view. Check this out. Here it comes. 
That's not an airplane, or at least it does not appear to be an airplane. Look at that. It looks like a white cylinder. And that's what Reno zoomed in on in this video. Moving in the opposite direction of the airplane that they were traveling on. Here's another view of it. I tried to zoom in a little bit closer, but couldn't see any other details other than a white cylinder moving through the sky, visible from an aircraft at around 39,000 feet. And this looks to be around the same altitude, maybe a little lower, possibly around 30, 35,000 feet. Now we're going to South Australia. This video footage was sent in by David, and this video is also from December, December 12th of 2022. Once again, from South Australia. This is some sort of a cylinder, but it looks orange because of the, the sunlight making it appear to be orange but I think this one too right there you can see it was white but because of the sun angle it looked orange but this one here didn't have wings didn't have a tail fin didn't make any noise wasn't leaving any type of a, a contrail and if you listen closely right here you can hear the the gentleman's dog growling quite possibly at this mysterious object in the daytime sky and here's yet another example of a mysterious white cylinder in the daytime sky not sure of the location, but it was a, a fairly clear day. You can see a random cloud over here to the left. Other than that, mostly blue skies. I'm going to try to, to keep my, my mouse out of the way of the object that I'm trying to share with you guys. But there goes the white cylinder moving through the daytime sky at a, at a high rate of speed. Kind of reminds me of the one that Reno saw from the airplane. Bedford, Virginia, Josh H. Also noticed a, a white cylinder in the daytime sky visible from Virginia. Didn't appear to be an airplane, didn't appear to be a helicopter. Here I enhanced the, the format, simply inverted it. Light is dark and dark is light, and you don't see any other features other than what we saw in the original video. Carrie McNamara, not sure of the location, but this video was from January 2nd of 2023 of a slower moving white cylinder in the daytime sky. But again, no wings, no tail fin, not making any noise, not leaving a contrail in the sky, just kind of cruising through the, the clear blue skies of planet Earth. Again, something mysterious. They wouldn't have been recording an airplane. People see airplanes in the sky every day, pretty much all day long. Here's an enhanced version of the same video. And check this out. See how it looks like it's in two parts? That definitely doesn't look like an airplane. Look at that. You've got a, a front half and a back half and what looks like something small in the middle holding two halves together. See, that's definitely not an airplane. Don't know what that is. I can honestly say I've never seen anything quite like that. Excellent observation. Great video. Video footage here sent in by Larry King. Not sure of the, the location. If you guys happen to send in a video, please include the location. At least the, the state or the, the country that you're from. So we'll kind of have a, at least a vague idea of where you, you saw your, your observation. This one here, again, sent in by Larry of what looks like another white cylinder in clear blue skies. Just kind of cruising through the sky, not making any noise no contrails, nothing like that. Just looked out of place. Didn't look like an airplane or a helicopter. That's why he took the video. And I would have too if I saw something like that in the daytime sky. So great job, guys. Keep the, the videos and cool photos coming. Always appreciate that. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Video. Click on that red tab, drag and drop your video into the red banner. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.